Hi, in this video, we'll use Microsoft Power BI to connect to SQLite 3 database. And first, we'll understand what is a DSN. DSN is a data source name. It's a data structure that stores the necessary information to connect to a database. As you can see, there are various types of DSN, system DSN, user DSN, and file DSN, and so on. And this is the definition of ODBC. Now that we have understood briefly these terms, let us try to go to our PC, search for DSN and click OK. Once we do that, we have a new window. Most likely your window will uh, be like this. And once we have this window, in case if you don't have a SQLite 3 driver, we can go ahead uh, to a website and download that particular driver. So based on your system, you can download. This is the website and you can download the correct uh, version for your system. Once you download and install, and try to go back to this uh, window and uh, if you uh, click on say system DSN, that particular driver will show up now that uh, that is done we can go ahead and create a new user DSN click on add once you click on add try to use uh, the scroll bar go and select the particular driver this is the one which I have just installed click OK and then we can create a data source name and I'm naming this uh, so that it will be helpful for us. And you can go and browse to the database. In my case, it is mahar.db and I'm pointing to that particular uh, file and uh, click OK. We have that in our um, window. Click OK and go to Power BI Desktop and traditionally you can load any kind of uh, data, right? So you can load uh, data from folders or text CSV and as such. In this case, we will try to type in ODBC, search for that, select it. Once you select, this new window will open up. Use the drop down, select that particular uh, user DSN, click OK. Once you click OK, use the default and you don't have to enter anything. Uh, click uh, connect. Once you connect, you have your navigator and all the tables from that particular, particular database are here. So um, like, uh, like always in the navigator, you can select any kind of uh, table and uh, say, for example, I select this particular table and I can uh, load transform data or cancel. And in case if you want, you can select all the tables based on your database. You might have to select all the related tables too. Once you do and OK, you are in Power Query. And um, based on your needs, you can do all the transformations here. You can use text analytics in case if the data is text or whatever. Based on your needs, you can do all that. So we have understood the, the basic concepts and connected Power BI to SQLite 3 database. It was pretty simple to understand. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.